We scored. We finally scored on the fourth stage of the Grand Finals. Don Wei almost found out who I was, but he's still not ready to be a father. Listen here. Have you ever heard of the Stern Boarding School, young lady? I'll be more direct. Are you my daughter, Eva? If I were your daughter, you would know it immediately. I mean, you really wouldn't need to ask me, would you? Oh, Eva, it's you. Sir, up here. Penny for your thoughts. You haven't forgotten our special date. Tonight's our anniversary. How could I forget that? <laughs> <laughs> the stops tonight, haven't you? I don't know what you mean. May I have the pleasure, Madame Wei? You married a racer, not a dancer. But if you want to take the risk... I've never actually waltzed before. Just follow me, princess. Just fine. <laughs> I wish every night could be like this. Be careful what you wish for. You might just get it. Um. <sighs> Mommy, Daddy! Why, look who's here. It's my little champion. She's really alive tonight. Shouldn't you be in bed? How could you abandon me? My poor baby. It's okay now. We're back. <laughs> You've made me the happiest man in the world.
Come on, Jordan. Up, up, up. We're in competition, remember? What's up with her? Feeling better? What do you mean better? I'm feeling super great. We're fourth in the rankings. That's only three points behind the leader. <laughs> That's why we're here. Who cares if my father's a complete disaster and my best friend just betrayed me? All I have is the race, and that's all I need. Hey, this isn't still about Don Wei, is it? Because if it is, it's a real waste of time. Hmm. Huh? Molly, just stand up in front of him and say, you're a loser. <laughs> Sir, good morning. Good morning, Jordan. Where is your partner? I have something important to tell her. I don't know, but she must be around here somewhere. Ugh, space would be a terrible place for me to die. Rivers and deep canyons. We can handle that. Molly, I... I wouldn't be so sure. That yellow stone is made of high-density sulfur. Extremely flammable stuff. Oh, those rivers are pure acid. That's not possible. What's not possible? If the Whizzing Arrow 3 takes a dip, its hull will disintegrate in three seconds. That's not good. Whatever. The other racers face the same risk. Let's go. Molly, wait. Yes? I... I don't want you to race today. What? It's too dangerous. We'll just have to sit this one out. We'll concentrate all of our efforts on the next race. Could there really be a beating heart in that body? No, not a chance. This is definitely some kind of trick. We don't have a choice. There are only five racers left, you know that. Unless you still don't trust me as a pilot. Molly, listen here. I... I just don't want you to get hurt. You understand? I couldn't forgive myself if you did. Huh? I'm sorry. It's go time and I'm the pilot. I won that privilege the hard way. I'll decide for myself. Uh, Molly! I'm telling you, you got him all wrong. He's not a robot. Come on, the race is about to start. Jordan, stay where you are. We're going to sit out this race. Sit out the race? Jordan, hurry! There's no time to lose! <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. I guess stubbornness runs in the family. Yes, sir? You heard them! Make sure everything's set! <laughs> Meters, 75 meters, 50. She's falling too fast. Okay, now. Keep it up, Molly. You're fifth. And the first gate is just ahead. But I'm afraid you're about to plunge in the ranking. I see the 
Take the reactors! Got it! You brought me here. I'm not sure, but I feel you won't hurt me. Is this what you wanted to show me? I... I don't understand you. Thank <laughs> you. 
These telepathic tentacles will make us a fortune. Just remove them quick so we can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing you in! What's the use now? Way, What a pleasant surprise. With all we've been facing here on Earth, I didn't even have a chance to congratulate you on your first victory. Mr. President, you asked me to carry the team as far as I could. We made it through the pre-selections and even scored one victory on Oban. But this is as far as the team goes. We're pulling out. Have you gone mad? We cannot stop halfway. Have you forgotten what's at stake here? Mr. President, we almost lost our second pilot today. A teenager, years too young for this level of danger. She also happens to be my daughter. Don Wei, we are not going to quit now. Do you hear me? My choice is final. That choice is not yours to make. We have just received information that the Krogs have started to gather their troops on our very borders. They will annihilate us as soon as the truce of the great race is lifted. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about that. If the Krogs win the ultimate prize, they'll wipe every single one of us into oblivion. Only you and your team can stop them. But, sir, I... Whether you like it or not, our future, the future of the entire human race, lies squarely on your shoulders, Donway. <sighs> Must I pay with my own daughter? <laughs> 